All right, you guys, we're at the Premium Aquarium because I got 60 bucks, 25 bucks, and five bucks of money to spend here. Credit, let's do it. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and do a walkthrough of the Premium Aquarium by checking out the fish. All I know is looking at fish is one of the funnest things of the hobby. I'm sure I could speak for a lot of us when I say that. Actually, I seen a post on Instagram from the Hawaiian fish keeper that posted a meme about shopping and how one was like a normal store. You walk in and out and then a fish store, it was just squiggly lines everywhere. And that is exactly what happens when I go to a fish store. It's just so enjoyable. Nice Antheus. We got some Chromis in this tank. Some Rass. Looks like a butterfly fish in the back. More Rass. Got some Tangs. Angel fish. Look at that lemon peel. Beautiful. Clowns. Too bad that like the lemon peel angelfish wouldn't be good in a reef because it's beautiful but not good in a reef. I've seen lots of people get away with the flame angels so that may be a possibility down the road. Not 100% sure. Here are some of the predators. The lionfish, this grouper which is just absolutely insane. Mimic tang. Look at all those fish. One of my favorites, the Moorish Idol. One day, there are some pyramid butterflies right there. Those are cool. What do they got up over here? More clownfish. A clown harem tank is definitely something that would be pretty cool. I do like species only aquariums. I've done that on the freshwater side for many years. It's really awesome. Looks like a convict tang. Now those convict tangs are the tangs with the stripes. I uh, seen those when I was in Hawaii, which is pretty cool to see them in the store, knowing that I seen schools and schools of them when I was in Hawaii. Now we're gonna take a look at some of the epic coral, some scolies. These things are insane. And my holy grail coral, the Australian gold torch. One day, one day. Now I know I posted a photo on my community tab asking about my tank and should I remove some more rocks even though I just rescaped it because I had some people that were commenting about taking out a little bit more rock. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not in the comment section down below. Please let me know what you guys think in my display tank from my previous video. Do you guys think I should remove some rock? Part of that decision is going to assist me in being able to pick out the corals that I will want in the tank. I definitely feel like I want to start with Euphilia. Check out this awesome Mandarin Gobi. These guys are really cool. Have to have a really healthy pod population in your tank. Here are some cleaner shrimp, some more fish, a clown variation, cardinal fish, damsel, coral. Now this is their display tank when you walk into the store. This is the backside of the display tank. Had I had my red filter with me, it would probably look better, but you can see not too bad for not having a red filter to filter out a lot of that blue light. But look at that Euphilia right there, just beautiful. Love the movement. I happened to walk up in front of the tank at the right time to catch this file fish checking out the coral. It was really cool to see that. And more Euphilia, more gold torch really beautiful it's a very large aquarium 
This tank has always been really cool to me because of the movement of the corals in the back. And you can see a flame angel in there as well. Brother Mel, Hawaiian fish keeper. Check out these discus, brother. Check them out. We made it home from the premium aquarium. We got some fish to put in quarantine because it's empty. So we got two bags. One has got a handful of them, which is right here. Goes in the 10 pack limit. Whoa, almost dropped that guy. And we got one in here to do the same. You guys know the drill. All right, you guys, the fish have been acclimating to the temperature like we typically do. So now we're gonna go ahead and pull them out. This one fish is gonna go down here into this small one. We'll look at that in just a moment. And then these will go into the bigger one. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll start off with this one right here. Dump it out in there. Check the salinity just to see where it's at and versus where mine's at. So it's 34.3 in that one. Basically the same here in this one. So mine is settling out at 32.8. So I'm not gonna worry about salinity adjustment because um, it's, it's very close. When I had to pull the other fish out, uh, it definitely uh, messed up the scape in the tank, but that's all right. We'll get that squared away here in just a second. I don't know, maybe we'll stick this thing. So the first guy is this guy right here. It is a blood orange clownfish. That guy is awesome. It's a mix between a maroon and a normal clownfish, I believe. These are Dispar Antheus. So hoping to have a small group of those guys. All right, you guys, so we got uh, a little bit of some brine shrimp here. We're gonna go ahead and pour it here in the tank and see the new fish come out, hopefully. So let's go. Come on guys, come on out, come out. Okay, let's see, there you go. There's one of the Dispar Antheus. There's another one up there. There's a third one. There's the clownfish. There's a fourth Dispar somewhere. That clownfish is so awesome. It's a blood orange clownfish. Okay, there's the fourth one down, down there under the rock. So one, two, three, four. So the four Dispar Antheus and the clownfish. Check that guy out. Blood orange clownfish. It's a mixture of Nemo, the normal clownfish, and I think it's a maroon. And you got these Antheus here. That one, I believe, is a male there. They're gonna be a nice little addition once they get bigger, more color and all that stuff like that. They're still, they're still pretty small. But a nice little addition of some schooling fish that is gonna be absolutely awesome. Look at that, how cool. And then that dude just rocking and rolling. Yeah, definitely want to get some schooling fish into the aquarium just to add more movement in the tank while we wait for coral. There's four right there. That's going to be awesome. Loving the clownfish though. I love how it's not just standard. It's a little different, but it's really close to the standard. It's gonna be awesome. Very awesome. What do you guys think of the new fish? The blood orange clownfish and the Dispar Antheus. Uh, I think they're gonna be absolutely epic in the tank. 
the Antheists because they're going to school and stuff like that, or there's a chance they'll school, I think is going to be really, really awesome here in the tank. And then obviously Clownfish is awesome. And I'm glad I got the Blood Orange Clown because it's a mixture of, again, Nemo, and I believe it's a maroon. So that's going to be a really awesome thing to have the mixture. Uh, it's got great color. It looks awesome. So in the comment section down below, Leave a comment. I like to read them and respond to them. What did you guys think of the new fish? If you could like the video, that'd be great. If you enjoy fish videos and you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. We got some awesome videos coming up soon, including getting my dosing system done. We're going step by step on that guy. It is epic. So that's going to be coming soon. So again, you're not going to want to miss that video. Hopefully I'll see you guys on that video. Thanks for watching and stay tanked.